All right. So, sorry for starting this off a little bit late here. Uh, it's been a while, so I'm a little rusty on setting up my stuff, and so everything is everywhere. But uh, so to give you kind of a quick synopsis as to what I'm doing today, I am going to show you my wig making journey. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty interesting ride because I've never made a wig. Oh, that was something that was highly requested from people who was for me to try to attempt to make a wig. And so, therefore, I have already started the process. So I actually made that one. This is blanket. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to make Okay, I'll just have it facing that way. Um, yeah, so let me get the rest of this set up because I'm so horribly bad at this. And, like, I used to be... So much faster and cooler, and somehow I just got old and I suck. So, hey, Jay Coleman, how's it going? Uh, you need to pop off the chat. Yes, yes. And let me get this going here too. I am going to be making an edited version of my journey uh, for my YouTube channel. I'll make a video. I'll make a video. Um, so some of my talkings today will be kind of weird because I'm going to be like uh, talking to my starting on the camera. So, uh, oh crap, I didn't even give a synopsis or anything. Why do I suck so bad to me? There we go. Alright, done. Done, diddly done. Oh, I got it. Yes, I don't care about the rest of it now. If I can see it or not, I'm just gonna put it somewhere. Done. Okay, we Gucci. We solid. Okay, so, yeah, why is it still blindingly bright? Is it this? It's probably that. A little bit of that. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to have, like, some of it me talking into the camera and stuff like that. Uh, because I am going to, like I say, make a little, a little video of this um, to talk about how I did this. In no shape, way, or form is this going to be a tutorial because <laughs> I am not on that level of making this into a tutorial because it's just, like, I'm not... I'm learning already. I have so much respect for people that make yarn wigs because... I just keep on focusing and refocusing. Uh, I have so much respect for people that, that do the yarn wigs because it is hard. It's hard to do. I'm like, yesterday I was like crying. My hand was hurting so bad when I was trying to like do the, like brush out the yarn. Why does it keep, I bet it's because of the light. The light's like going off. Why does everything suck? Okay. So I'm gonna do that now. I don't want my batteries up. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little brief introduction thingy really quickly. And it's gonna be great. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, it would be stable if I was doing it more, but I'm not doing it that way. This way. Oh man, that is like really far away. Alright. The shorter, because I don't feel like sitting in a chair, because I'm going to be working on the floor for this stuff anyway. Alright. Grandioso. Cool. This is fantastic. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be doing some of this as a video, so forgive me. I'm going to be off talking to this camera for a second. And then I'm going to show you guys what I have. I'm going to show the, the video what I have done so far, and then I'll show you guys. Wow, oh, this is so great. Awkward. Okay. All right. There you go, five, four, three, two, one. It didn't start. 
Hey friends out in YouTube world, it is Asemba here, and today I have a fun video for you. Um, so one of the things I was asking, I was like, so what do you guys want to see me do? What would you guys like to see me live stream and do? And one of the things was people were telling me, you should make a wig, and I was like, <laughs> me make a wig? That's hilarious. Uh, because I've got no crafting bone in my body. Like, seriously, I, um... The, the extent I am with crafting is that I will do face ups and that is it. Back in the day, uh, if you if you remember back to my olden videos, I did sew some clothing for Kai, which is a scary in the gray hoodie. I sewed clothes for him, and that is the only time that I've ever made items for my dolls, like crafted things. So making a wig seemed really intense. So, in no shape, way, or form is today's video going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to share with you my experience and how it's going and what I'm doing. Alright, let's get started. So, first is first, you're going to need some materials. And so, the materials that I'm using today, I literally did not want to break the bank because I was like, I don't know how good this is going to be or how bad this is going to be. So I'm going to go to try to do the least amount that I can pay for. Hobby Lobby has these 100% uh, acrylic yarns called Yarn B. And I didn't want to get a whole bunch of yarn because I wasn't intending on making a whole bunch of wigs. So this was a small spool and I thought it'd be great. It was 99 cents and it's 100% acrylic, which is what people recommend. So you're going to need some yarn. So I have, oh my god, my head is itchy because I've had an opponent so all day and it's bad. Okay. So I got three different colors. There's actually a whole bunch of colors in this brand. It's just I felt like these would be the fun ones to make. So you'll need yarn. Second, um, I need to cut them and tie them or anchor them to something. So I anchored mine <laughs> to the coffee stirrers. But then I figured out that the coffee stirrers actually were like hurting my hands because one, they were flimsy and two, I felt like they were like giving me low key splinters. So don't do that. <laughs> People use a pencil. I was actually looking for a tool that someone had suggested on uh, YouTube on a tutorial that they made. And it was like a cool like, um, it, had a bunch of little squares in it and you could anchor it to that but basically you need to anchor it to something i'm going to anchor it to like a paintbrush or something and i'll show you uh how i did that so you're going to cut your yarn into these like the amount the, like the length that you want to i would recommend just since i've already done this step to do it slightly longer than what you want it to be. Uh, so even if you want it to be like, you know, for example, if you were looking to do it like this short, do it a little bit longer because as you're brushing it, the fibers start coming apart and start getting trapped into your brush. So you're going to want to make sure that you, you know, make it longer so this was the weird part because at first i read a tutorial on how to do this and they said anchor it to the pencil or whatever that you're using i did four strands so i got four strands and i would anchor four strands to it to make the wasps so you're going to put it in half like this put it in half like this and you're going to make a little loop guy like this so get your brush or whatever you're going to use to anchor it to. I'm actually not going to use that brush because I need that for something else. And what you're going to do is you're going to basically make a tie by pulling the bottom through your loop and pulling it back. So you're going to make little tassels, I guess you could say. These are my tassels. Hi, Izzy. How you doing? Do you make little tassels uh, like this? And I, I put like four or five to um, 
a pencil or like I said yesterday I was using a coffee stirrer so about five of these you'll need so I'm gonna stop this really quick and then I'll say I'll be over here now so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the rest of them on here to show you guys and then I think about it curses I left my brush and the liver so this is where it gets weird, and I don't know that if any of you guys that are on right now that have made wigs before, what brush do you use? Because yesterday, at first I read a tutorial, and they were like, use a comb. So I had like a rat tail comb, and I was using the rat tail comb, and it took forever. And I feel like it was beating the crap out of the fibers, and it was eating a lot of my yarn. So I decided, okay, well, I'm going to use a dog brush because that's what I read too, is use like one of the little metal dog brushes. But I couldn't find my dog brush yesterday and I was getting very aggravated about that. And so I was like, well, screw it. I'm just going to use a regular brush. So I used a regular brush yesterday. Like it was legitly my brush. Like it was my brush I used. And it seemed to go by a lot faster and it was just significantly better. Um, but I'm still curious as to how it would work if I were to have used a dog brush, but I just don't have a dog brush. That is a thing. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm just like realizing my dog secretly came into this room and my dog's not allowed in this room. And I see like one of my daughter's like little play gym ball things. And I see it underneath my chair, and I'm like, triggered now. I'm like, who is here? It's like, it's, it looks like it was chewed. It's like collapsed. Great! Anyway, so, wee! This step is the fun step. Okay, so, let me go get my brush really quick. I will be right back. I wonder what kind of job those tangle teasers would do. I don't know, and I thought about that too. I was like, can you use a product on it? Could like you spray like that detangling spray? I'm wondering. Like, I don't know if that's a thing or not. To use like a detangling spray, but I feel like I just feel like you lose so much fibers depending on the brush that you use, and that's not what I want to have happen. It's like the little fibers. Be right back. Let me put my brush really fast. I wanted to show YouTube what I was doing. All right, back, done, diddly done. I forgot I needed to grab some other supplies too. All right, yeah, I le legitly was using my own hairbrush and this is what my hairbrush <laughs> looks like now. <laughs> it's so gross. <sighs> Things we do for the BJB hobby, it's great. Yeah, so, but I feel like it, it brushed out the fibers really well. I was just really impressed with how my regular hairbrush was doing with it. And I don't care because it's my hairbrush. It's not like I'm selling these wigs or giving to anybody. That's just my brush. So. I can do whatever. Okay, so I'm going to clean it out real quick before I show the camera because it looks kind of good. Not going to lie. Alright. More or less. Hairbrush is clean. I think this hairbrush has seen everything. I even have used it like on my cosplay wigs before. I love this brush. I don't even know where I got it from. It doesn't even have like a name on it. I just got it. Okay. That is good. Every single thing out of this brush. Okay. Be Gucci. Okay. I thought it was inside. And let's get to all of that. 
All right, so, oh, God, it's like, have you worn a ponytail before all day that just hurts your head? So it's like, I'm going to turn it off. All right, GG, 10 out of 10. All right, so what do we do? Oh, okay. The next step, once you've anchored your yarn into the little loops onto your pencil or whatever you decide to put them on, you're going to need to brush them out. So here's the fun part. Um, I read online somewhere that you could just use a comb and brush them out with a comb. And I was doing it with this rat tail comb at first. But then I noticed a lot of fibers were coming off and that my strands were getting really short and my hand was cramping really bad. So I was like, let me change the brush. I really wanted to use a dog brush because there was people saying online that you should use a dog brush because uh, the metal bristles will help like break apart the stuff faster. But I could not find my dog brush. And so instead I used my hair brush. <sighs> yeah, it's all good because it belongs to me. And I'm not giving these to anybody. So no one's going to get the possibility of my hair with their doll wig. Anyway, so um, at this point, I was just brushing them out, and I did it on a flat surface. So you brush, 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 and eventually the little strands start unraveling, and then you get these beautiful fluffy pieces. And by the way, you also have to clean out your brush because you get this in your brush. Which, by the way, by the way, people say that they saved this and used it for other arts and crafts projects, but I'm not an arts and crafts person, so I've got like a... I've got like a chia pet of these, like, they're just a huge thing. But you will get these little wonderful furry things, and you, uh, you know, they won't be this straight because it's already afterwards. This is post, but I lost my train of thought. After it's brushed, you will have your fibers nice and ready for the next phase, which is flat ironing and gluing and so this is kind of my end product so I have already flat ironed my pieces I cut them off of the anchor and then I glued them onto wax paper now that this is another learning experience because I've heard some people like to do it on different kinds of surfaces um because essentially I haven't tried it yet but you have to be able to peel this off and I'm not sure how it's going to work because it's just on my paper and now I'm realizing that maybe I shouldn't have done on my paper. And maybe I should have blah, 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 wax paper and it looks like it's coming off so oh yeah you have to glue it on there duh i didn't even tell you okay yeah so glue it on there by the way so i glued it on there and i used a brush and i did a line of glue first and then i kind of like brushed it down onto it and then i put another line of glue on top and then i kind of merged the two layers and that's how i got it fun fantastic fantastic after this step, uh, which is the step that I'm working on now, is that you need to peel them off of your flat surface. And you're going to cut your little wax, locks, whatever they're called. And you're going to shape them so you can use them for your doll making project. Because as you can see, it's kind of ugly. So you're going to clean it up. And then you can cut them and customize them to whatever size or lengths that you need or want. So like I've got several here that I can customize and make them however I want to make them. And honestly, to be completely 100% honest with you, I actually considered cutting these in half now and making more out of these wafts, wax, whatever you want to call them, uh, because I want to make short, like, small wigs. I'm making wigs um, for my Obitsu heads. That's actually what I'm doing this for. So, as you can see, my little Obitsu guy is prepped for the next phase, too. Um, 
So I'm not going to need, obviously, like for him, I'm not going to need this huge, long piece of hair. So what I thought about doing was cutting this snip in half and then creating another set of wefts. 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 I think it's W-E-F-T-S. Wefts. Um, so that way I can, like, double the use of this. What I'm going to do next also, after I do this step here, I think steps in. I also as well. Ow! Fanatier! Hi! Says, I know Hexdian uses two different dog brushes. First, a looser one similar to a plastic comb, and then one as a metal brush just to further break up things. Also, my experience, I found plastic bags work best for the peeling stuff off. Wax paper leaves a little bit of film on line of glue, but it doesn't seem to show when you glue on the Whoa! Life hacks! Thank you, fan of TA. So I just learned right now, um, since I'm streaming this as I go, uh, that instead of using wax paper, you can use a plastic bag. Oh, me! I know I'm gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, hey, Saeed! Baby Mama Less Good! Baby's actually with Daddy right now, because I told Daddy I was going to do streaming. So, I was like, let me, can I do this please, and then I'll, I'll take back over to Baby. But yeah. What other forum are you on? Um, I'm just recording a YouTube video, so... That's what. That's why I keep on talking this way and looking at that. And that's what I'm doing. Cool fan of today. See, I always recently made with some like dolls. Freedom. Yeah, I know. That's how every, I always feel whenever I don't have the baby. I'm like, no, I do. It's like funny. Yeah. yeah, I have two cameras. Yeah, sorry. So I'm like looking at this. I'm looking at you guys. Yeah, because I'm recording a video. I want to make a condensed version of this so that way, like, if somebody sees this, they don't have, if they want to, like, see how my process went for wigs, they don't have to look at, like, an hour stream video. They can just look at the condensed version that I have. So. Yes, Izzy, that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, so this is my uh, little Gabriel aggressed head. Okay, now I'm going to focus. That's cool. Yes, no, yes, no, no. No, it's going to refuse to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do, uh, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm literally also looking to buy a body because I actually legit, I don't know why, like, out of all the characters, like, why Gabriel aggressed, but, like, yeah, I thought it was really fun to paint, and so, um, that's what I'm working on right now. That's why I bought gray, um, gray yarn, so that way I could make it for him, and I want to try to make a custom head cap. So that way I can have the, the the hairline that he has. He's got like that weird hairline that looks like an M. So that's what I'm trying to do right now with this. So it's going to be great. I use chopsticks to hold the yarn while I brush it out. Great idea, number two. Dang, and I have so many chopsticks. Dang. See, I'm learning so much. That's why I say this is not a tutorial video in any shape, way, or form. It's just me experiencing what it's like being a total noob. So yeah. Dang. Um... I don't want to brush my hair. This is like, uh, I feel so much better. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make these waps, waves, what are wefts? Wefts, 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 wefts. I'm going to make these wefts shorter because I won't need that much since I'm making them for these guys. And that's actually the reason why I wanted to learn how to make wigs is that for these guys, they're so small and it's like, Eighteen dollars for a wig. Eighteen dollars for a wig, and I'm just like I can't justify that. So I'd rather make my own wig for these little guys, and then like I can customize it however way I want to. But we'll see if this is successful. If not, you know, I'm just gonna pay eighteen dollars for a wig. <laughs> this tiny sucks, but um, that's life. Okay, well now that I have more experience inside the chat, people in the chat. When you make the wig cap, there's one that I saw that they cut pieces of material like this. Yeah, they have it. 
Uh, when they made the wig cap, they did squares, and then they would glue down the squares all the way around the head, and then they did one on top, and then they cut it, like, all around, so that way you could get it flat as possible on top of the head. But then I saw another person that legitly just grabbed, like, a piece of material. Hold up. They literally got a piece of material. Let's pretend. Got a piece of material like this, and then they they brought it down like this, and then they rubber banded this, and they just glued this. So which method is better, and can you do it this way? Because I feel like this way would be faster, but I think the tricky part of doing it this way is that you really can't see, like, where you need to put the lines, like, for, like, the hair, like, how how low you need to lay your glue. I don't know, so you guys need to let me know about that part. Because I was going to do it with the squares, and I was going to do one this way, so that way I could show you both ways um, of me experiencing it. But I'm just curious as to see what you guys normally do. Kelly says, I use a piece of stretchy fabric, and then I use elastic, elastic to keep it in place, and I pull it tight and cover it with glue. Band of TA says, I just wrapped the whole head in fabric, tied a rubber band, and then glued it. You want to make sure you have plastic wrap on your doll's head. Yeah, so okay, I've seen, I see both of you guys are doing it this way. So I definitely want to do it this way, for sure, on, on one of my heads, where you just like grab the fabric and put it on top like that. Um, but I definitely want to try doing this, the method with the squares also, just because I feel like I can see it more. Does that make sense? So, um, I, if you, I think you do the fabric way, you can do something thin and still see through it, like linen or cheese cloth. Right, Vanity. After it goes dry, you can trim it to the right size before you add the hair. I do the same. Oh my god, you guys are the best. Thank you. You guys are all my wig senpais. Thank you. So I'm going to just say in the video that there's obviously other ways you can do this, um, but I'm going to try it both ways because I'm going to make a couple of these wigs, honestly. I want to make... Um, I'm going to make this guy one, and there's a girl up there that's got a wig on, but it's too small for her head. So I want to make one custom for her. Um, yeah. So maybe I'll do his with the square method, and then I'll do hers with just putting a thing of fabric over the face and just rubber banding it. Because I'd like to see how it works both ways and see if it makes that big of a difference. Um, in the meantime, though, I'm gonna legitly, like, do what I, do what I said I was gonna do, and I'm gonna cut, um, I'm gonna cut the fabric in half, the fibers in half, because I feel like if I'm making boy wigs, you don't need to have it that long. You're gonna want to have it have some length, so that way you can customize it, but I don't need it this I don't need this long for an obitsu. That's way too long for what obitsu hair that I'm going to do. So, with this one, I'm going to cut it to. Alright. Man, I'm so glad you guys are here to help me because now that'd be like. I'd be like, well, nope, I don't know. I'm going to cut these in half. Oh my god. Uh, let me see which way. All right. Oh, my God. Oops. Nubbies. Okay. So I'm going to line the glue at the bottom. I wish I could show this on my camera. Why is this orange? Like, what? Who did this to you? I hope it's not like that for the video. Or is it doing this because my Google, my desktop is stuck? I don't know, guys. Okay. So I'm going to do this thingy. What did you guys say? Oh, dude, that's so smart, Said. 
I fully admit to cheating and just gluing shit to the silicone wig caps when, when you get a cheap one. I bought a liquid wig and I'm happy with it because it has a floofiness and went out and bought some mohair and I made my own and now I have the softest, floofiest boy. So good! I'm actually working on one for SD. I'm feeling cheap about buying her a wig, so I'm making one for like the less cheap. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, that is so smart though, that silicone, just to get the wig cap and the silicone wig caps. Think smarter, not harder, guys. That's the name of the game. That is the name of the game. Alright, so let's show you guys what I'm working on here. So I decided to be frugal, and since the initial piece was too long, I think, since I'm making it for an obitsu head, I cut it in half, and so that way I can kind of make another. So I'm going to make a line of glue, and I would have done this straight from the uh, from the anchor if I still had it on the anchor. I don't, so I'm going to have to just carefully pick this up and just like place it on top. So you kind of just let it meet the line of glue. Like that. And then you're going to put, I put another layer of glue on top of it. Like this. Go back and do another one. And then with the brush, I'm going to go ahead and brush that. I'm going to brush it down. So that way it's flat. And I'm going to hold on to my little fibers here so that way they don't move around. And the name of the game is to get it as flat as possible. I saw somebody else online doing a wig also, and they used a silicone brush. And I thought that was ingenious, because at least with a silicone brush, it's not going to pull out the fibers, like how my little art brush is right now. Um, so yeah, that might be something to consider as well. Okay, you just want to make sure that it's really saturated so that way when you do pull it off, that they all kind of stick together like a little happy family. So, at this point you let it dry and then, um, you can, you know, do whatever you need to do with it afterwards. I feel like he's going to need more hair than this. Or will he? See, and that's another thing. I don't know how much wig you need, like hair you need to make the wigs. I just feel like, is this enough? Like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, can I make it work with this much hair or do I need more? Because I don't think I could cut it again. Like, if I, if I had cut it again, this next layer is like so much makes Evan good to use, I don't think so. But this one's good. I think this will be good for my little Okitsu head, because I don't know. It's not going to need that much, I think. I'm like looking at him right now. I'm like, mm. I feel like I'll be able to fill it with these two. I think this would be more than enough for his hair. I kind of want to leave that other one alone, just in case, so. Yeah. I'm going to let that go. And sit off to the side, and I need to clean off the brush before I forget because it's gonna stay on and it'll be glued and gross forever. There's no more water in there. Water. Give it a good swoosh. I'll let it sit in there for a little bit. Okay. Alright. Actually, I don't even know why I'm cleaning it because I'm about to use it again. About to use it again. Alright. What are you guys telling me? Give me your... <laughs> oh, hey, Raiden, what's going on? <laughs> Give me your advice, please. Uh, la, 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 la. 
Well, that are directly to a, a head, but not in a BGD. I heard that too. Okay, does that work? I heard that you can glue it directly onto the head. But then I feel like, would white glue work very well? I feel like it would just peel off of the, the vinyl. Like, I don't think it would work. Unless you use like a super glue of some sort, but I don't know how that would work either. So, I don't know. You guys need to let me know about this stuff because I don't. You guys are the pros, not me, obviously. I'm just learning. Uh, I saw someone glue a chocolate BJ head and I almost cried and it wasn't even my doll. An actual bit to one of these guys? Okay, I wouldn't put it on one of these guys, but this, I heard you could do it on these guys, but not on that. <gasps> on resin? Holy crap. Oh, wait. I think I have heard of somebody doing it, but they were doing like a, sh like trying to do like a, like a shaved head effect. And I think that was the closest they could get to the head was by gluing it directly on the wig cap, but I, I what a cup gown on the head. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Next part. Oh God. It's been recording this whole time. This whole five minutes. Oh, because I was doing that. I think it's Next, you're going to want to go ahead and make a wig cap. So the, this is what I've heard multiple things about um, how to make a wig cap. But everyone says the same first step to this is you have to put saran wrap on your doll head. So you put the saran wrap on these rubber band. I didn't have one, so I used a ribbon and I tied it. Uh, and you do that to protect the doll's head and face up if there's one on there. And then you're going to go ahead and with some type of thin material, I just have like a cotton, like a really thin cotton material, although I kind of wish I had more of a stretchy spandexy material because that's what I'm hearing a lot of people like to use. Um, but two methods, and I'm going to try out both of them. Uh, method one is that you could actually just literally just lay it on top. You lay it on top like this and then bring it down as flat as you can. And then put a rubber band and then put glue on this to make your wig cap and let it dry. Um, or the other method that I heard too is that if you cut out individual squares and then fit them so that way you can kind of see where you're placing them, um, you can do it that way too. I'll show you both, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, to add on to this, I asked what kind of glue you could use for the, for the wig cap. A lot of people seem to use just white elmer's glue i also have mod podge as well so i might try mod podge on the other head that i'm going to do um and then i've heard some other people use some other glues too which i was very amazed to see um someone else had said uh like a tacky glue someone else used e6000 and yeah i don't know there's like other kinds of glues that i've heard people say they used um to make the cap so I don't know. We'll see what happens and see what works best. So I'm going to do Elmer's glue with this one. I'll do Mod Podge on the other and then I'll see kind of how, which one I like more. See how it goes. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and use. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put like a line down and then I'll brush it down. That's what I'm going to do. Oh my god. Alright, here it goes, guys. Here goes nothing. Go team, go. Alright. I feel like you're gonna need a shiz business a bunch of glue. Fabric glue works. More waterproof. Wow. Yeah, I wish I had fabric glue too now. I wanna try everything. Make it go down here. I'm just going to literally just place it down for now. And then I'm going to saturate it with glue and a little more. I'm just like placing it right now. But I do legitly want to do that shape, so I need to bring up a picture of you below the breath so that way you can see it. Because I love my regulars. You know, now I'm gonna have overlapping piece right here because I guess I can cut it. You know. 
Well, actually, I guess it does need to overlap a bit, doesn't it? What a fool I was! It does need to overlap, now I think about it, because then that way I kind of can help it. And that way I don't have any pieces press it open. Oh, you're an... Okay. All right, so I kind of just placed them around the part of the head where I need it to be, and now I'm going to saturate it with the glue. Um, and that's the piece of black I'm in right now. I'll stop that. Oh, we do have a plastic bag. I was like, do I have a plastic bag to try the plastic bag method? Because now I kind of wish I had the plastic bag. Oh my god. I also bought resin, guys. So I can do resin things. And I have a little thing to open up, too. So much fun stuff to do, guys. I'm so crafty now. Look at me. Because I'm a mom. <laughs> Not even. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue this, this bad boy. I'm bring it down so you guys can see what I'm doing down here. I see some. Oh, you guys can see my laptop. That's cool too. All right, so uh, yeah, so I have my little head guy here. Cut where it wrinkles so it flattens. God, you guys are so smart. Why? Why? Why can't I be cool like you guys? All right, so I'm gonna try to do. This. Oh Lord, why is this so hard to do? It's like moving around everywhere. I'm like, I hear music. <laughs> like my mom's senses are tingling, I hear things. And it sounds like it's coming from my phone. Is it my phone? Or am I just hearing my husband? I don't know, dude. I'm hearing things. Oh no! Asamba's finally gone crazy. She's hearing things. Yeah, I think I already did wrong by this because I think the other tutorial that I saw, maybe I need to cut this. Like, it didn't get this far up into the head when they did the strips, the square strips. Because when it got to the point where they needed to cover up the top of the head, they had um, one strip of material and they, like, they cut that into pieces. But with mine I'm seeing right now, it's like, not doing that. You know what? I must say, though, making wigs is actually pretty therapeutic. Like, I feel like this is very relaxing to do. So, that's not that bad. I'm making a hot mess, y'all. This is what I'm, I'm wondering about. So, oh god, you can't see through that freaking See how it's got, like, an open thing at the top? If I flatten them down, they're not going to flatten down all the way because it's tape. I feel like if I cut it though, it should flatten. So I'm gonna make these like I'm gonna make a box shape on top. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it and make it flat. I think if I cut it in the middle, I don't know that's I'm telling you, I'm totally experimenting on this. I've never made a wig before, so you folks at home are probably like, why are you doing it that way? Guys, I'm just giving it the old college try. Did I cut the middle here? This one? Trying to get it flat on the head. Best. I already am like thinking the other way is a lot better than this way. 
This is a pain. In the booty. Oh no. My two pieces here need to overflap each other. Sit over. Oh. All right, brosifs. I hear my baby, guys. My mommy's sister are too good. Okay, so now this is what they said. Yeah. Okay, say thank you. Yeah, because I'm like looking at this and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, God, the great light. Ruining my world here right now. Okay, yeah, do you, does that make it better? No, not really, because everything's just white. Yeah, so I had to like. There you go. I had to cut it to make it be a little bit more flat. So this is like that strat. So this is where it gets like super strategy mode because they put it on top. I'm gonna show you right now. It's feeling crazy. So I went ahead and I covered it with the little pieces, and I had to cut some of the pieces on top so it could lay flat on the head. And so now I'm ready to put the top piece, which you're gonna put in the middle, like this and then you can make cuts all along the edge um sorry put this in no <laughs> okay we're gonna make cuts along the edge if I had a cool better pair of scissors Ten hours later. Oh god, this is going everywhere. Cut scissors! Your material scissors! Do what you're supposed to do. Forget it. Forget it! Forget what else. Once you cut uh, your little pieces along the outside of the material piece, and you're going to glue the flaps down. And it should create a shape that you need now. That's my food. I'm so crafty. <laughs> I feel like there's no way of avoiding your fingers getting dirty doing this. I feel like I already have glue. I tried being as clean as possible and not getting glue all over my hands, but I feel like it's inevitable. You're just going to get glue on your hands. This is how everybody feels because I thought I could avoid it. I thought I could be cool, hip, and happening, but apparently not. Okay, this one where it did not cut is not going flat. And at first I was caring about like where I was placing down the glue. Like I didn't want to make it go too far down, but now I like really don't care anymore. Doing that YOLO life now. Oh my baby, I hear her. Alright, so aside from some of these little pieces that are just not going down flat because I cannot cut them. I'm going to have to clean the scissors. Alright, little wig cap guy. Oh my god, there's a piece of hair on this. I don't know. How many layers of glue do you guys put on? Like, am I cool with just this layer that I'm putting down, or do I really need to put down more layers than this? Like, is that chill enough, or do I need to put more glue on this? Hmm. 
I'm gonna make you go. Power of editing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, so like legit, the front of the wig cap was stellar, but this part where his ear is is not laying down flat. So I'm gonna cut it, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna cut it so that way it can lay down flat. Same thing with this other one here. I just want really long behind the ear. Legit, I hope I'm not cutting a little plastic. But it's uh... Alright. That's just the ear now. And I guess I let this dry for 10,000 years. Yay! Look at me! Arts and crafts! Depends. I do three to make it stick. Holy crap! Three layers! Oh no! I'm too lazy! Hard to tell until it dries. Oh. Depends on the material and how sturdy you want the cap. Okay. Well, I will do that then. I trust you all. I trust you. Because you can't lay down the wefts on this yet. You have to wait until it dries, right? Do I have a fan? Yes, I do. I have to go set it up, though. So I'll, have to be, I'll have to do, like, movie magic and do that later. Wow, you know what I didn't think about? I didn't think about where am I going to set this while I do other things. <laughs> um, hmm. Where can I put this? Mm, maybe I can put in my paintbrush holder because I don't know what to, do, what to do with this. Oh crap, I didn't even tell YouTube. So my little guy has a little wig cap. I feel like doing it this method with the squares. Well, I don't know if I like it or not. I need to try the other one, but I do feel like it's cool because you get to see where you're laying down the material for the wig cap. But I feel like I have a lot of bumps, and I don't know if that could have been avoided if I would have done it the other way, but I guess we'll see. This needs to dry, and then according to the YouTube audience that is watching right now on the stream, they said that you may or may not need to do other layers of glue on top of this. So we'll see how it is, because this is a cotton material, so maybe it will stiffen. And it won't need another layer of glue, but if it does, I'll definitely put on another layer of glue. So let's let this dry. Okay, move. Oh, crap. I didn't lock these legs in a place. Oh, my God. Move that aside. I have a paintbrush holder that I'll stick this into. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. He's chilling like a villain. Okay, we got it. We Gucci, guys. We Gucci. All right, yeah, that sucks. Our blow dryer, dang. Bye, thanks for joining in the stream, Slade. I appreciate it. Blow dryer. Man, you guys are so smart. Okay, I will do that. But I want to set up the other head for sure. So I got to do that. Let me set up that other head real quick. Quick like. Quick like. All right. Uh... I need plastic wrap. You need the doll. Oh, my legs hurt. Okay. So this is the other one I want to make a wig for. So let's do it. I literally had this little hair thingy on because this did not fit her head. So that's what's kind of like. Shoot, I'll just make wigs for her then, I guess, if I learn how to make wigs. And become that cool. Um, this is actually a apple head. Uh, so the apple heads, they have, and I do like a spider tattoo, I don't know why. Uh, they have magnets in their heads and they'll cast out of resin. So this is a tiny itty bitty resin head on an obitsu body. So, yep, I need to make a wig. A wig for her. So that is what we will do. It's gonna get a wig. 
Oh crap, the cling wrap. I hate it when, okay. How many of y'all hate it when the cling wrap does this? It just like folds in itself and yours. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put this on top. Nice and tight like. And I'm gonna tie this around because I don't have a rubber band. So it looks like I'm strangling her. Done. Next part. Oh crap. You know what? Wait, hold up. I'm going to cut some of this ribbon because I'm going to try the method that you guys said. Do. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay, cool. So this way, I'm going to do it this way now and put the thing on top of it and then bring it down. I imagine if you're very careful of how you put it down and you put your little folds down, you shouldn't get that much that much wrinkles if you hold this down as you're placing it over the head. Bada bing! Maybe, I don't know. Oh, gotta tie it. Okay. Boom. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It's gotta be better than the wig she was wearing right now, because the wig she was wearing right now, I could not do anything with it. So this method that you guys are telling me about, putting the material over it and then putting the glue on top of this, is what I'm going to try on this one now. So I'll saturate this with a lot of glue, and I'll try to guesstimate. I can tell because I put that tattoo on her forehead where it starts and stops on her forehead. And I'll put the glue. Oh, wait, no, I was going to try Mod Podge on this one. I'll do Mod Podge on this one, and then I'll see which one I like better. If I like Mod Podge or if I like the other thing. So here's my Mod Podge. It's actually a matte Mod Podge, so I don't know if that will look any different. And I was very, very foolish. And when I was using this last, I left it. I don't know if this jar is good anymore. Let's see if I can stick a brush in it still or not. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. All right. So with Mod Podge on top, let's see what happens. Mod Podge versus glue. Yo, this is a lot easier. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be very chill with just do, doing this. This is way faster. Now, I heard people say that if you use Mod Podge, that you really need it to stay, like, on there, and then take it off, like, ensure that it's really dried before you take it off. I heard it shrinks. So... I imagine Mod Podge will take longer to dry, though. I think that's the only downside I think I can feel about Mod Podge. So I'm just going to make sure that the material is nice and saturated. And then I'll let this one dry. Down there. Chillin'. Yeah, yo, I think this is a lot easier. Try to pull out as many wrinkles as you can from the fabric. Ugh. No, but that's work, guys. <laughs> and I'm not cool like you guys. I'll try my best, senpais. I think it's pretty good, though. I don't feel like there's that many wrinkles. I know there's one here because this is, like, short on this end. I think this is okay. I'm really trying to like cake this on. That way it has like a good amount. Alright. So I'm gonna let her dry. Ooh, they have fast drying mod pie. 
I'm just using what I have because I just happen to have this much blood. I don't want it to fall. And now we wait. Now we play the waiting game. Hi, I'm so happy to be crossing this hurdle with you guys. Yeah, that's actually what I watched on how, Kelly, that's what I watched to do how to make the, the lefts. I watched her, her tutorial. I believe it was her tutorial. When I, ooh, Helmer, Helsing Mongrel has uh, a saying. When I make my alpaca wigs, I use Mod Podge, and it can take some time to dry it. Yeah, but I've always liked it. Would love to try something waterproof, though. Find something waterproof. Well, Elmer's glue, this white glue, is also waterproof, so I'll let you know, because I did one head with this glue, and I did one head with this glue, so I'll see which one I feel is happier. And then I did the square method on one, and then I did the draping method on the other, so I'll see which one is better. Obviously, though, it looks like I'm not going to get enough time to finish both wigs in this video today, but I did want to at least stream some of the process and hear what you guys have to say uh, live since I am very new to this and I've never made a wig before. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely, if I feel like, if I feel like 70% successful on this, then yeah, I'm just going to make a whole crap ton of wigs and I'll just be like making wigs left or right. But if I feel like, oh man, I actually kind of suck at this. Like I'm probably not going to make any more wigs. And I'll just, you know, I'll find something else to do with this yarn. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I feel like I'm on the right track. Uh, what I would like to do uh, sometime tomorrow also is that if you are curious, I'm going to actually be uh, casting some resin pieces tomorrow for my birthday. I was gifted some really awesome molds. And I want to make earrings out of the... Uh, Sakura keys, the Sakura keys, this one here, Heart Captor Sakura's key. So I want to make earrings out of this. So I'm going to cast it and I'm going to mix it with um, some Pearl X. Uh, and I'm going to make some earrings tomorrow. So if you want to see this, this is what I'll be doing tomorrow. And you guys are more welcome to uh, stop by tomorrow. I might be doing it on Twitch tomorrow though. Um, just because it's just going to be me just doing rinky dink games but yeah for the most part i think it's going back so well so far so good i'm really excited because you know i need to clean up these obviously these need to be cleaned up um so i'll be doing that um and, and showing that too because i feel like i need to put that in the video also but if you guys have any advice for me for wig making i'm gonna do a little thread on my facebook page and I'm going to ask for your tips and for your tricks uh, for wig making, uh, non-sewing, because this is all glue. Uh, and if you can drop by and, and send me some info there, I'd really appreciate it on my Facebook page. Um, but yeah, I got to go get my baby because I told daddy that I will only be for about an hour. Um, so And I already did all the stuff that I could do right now because I got to let those dry now. But I hope you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun. Thank you for coming by. And I appreciate all of you guys here in the stream. And um, yeah, look forward to that video that I'll be compiling of this. So thanks, guys. You're the boost. Bye, y'all. Bye.